Hello, this is John Paul from InMotion Hosting, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a backup of Moodle. And I'm going to start by logging into the admin dashboard for Moodle. And go ahead and enter or the login button, and you'll see I've been logged in successfully. And then, if you're not already there, you want to go here to your home. And then under administration, you want to click backup. On this initial backup settings page, you'll see all the different sections and, and things that you can back up. And keep in mind that the amount of time this takes to perform the backup will be based on how much information you have stored here. Um, as is, I'm going to leave it with the default settings. And then once you've selected what you want to back up, you're going to want to click this next button on the bottom right. Our, in here is going to be the schema settings. You'd normally see any database changes listed here or any databases that you're using and you can select the ones you want to back up. Um, this is just a clean installation so there's really not much to back up at this point. Uh, but normally you would see your databases listed there and you can select the ones that you want to back up. And after doing that, click Next. Okay, in this confirmation and review page, you're going to see the name of the backup file here and you may want to save that for your own archives or for your own um, for your own settings and then it'll also see everything that is and isn't being backed up will be listed here and so just review that and then hit click the perform backup button here in the bottom right when you're ready and this may take some time remember based on how much information you have or how big your website is but when it's done you'll see the backup file was created successfully and when you see that message it means it's done now go ahead and click continue and this is where you could actually import a backup file if you wanted to do a, rest a restoration. Uh, but if you scroll down, you'll see here that the backup I just created is now listed there. And I can at this point download the backup or I can choose to restore it if I needed to. And if you had other backups that you've done in the past, they would also be listed here. And that's it. Now you know how to backup your Moodle website. Uh, thank you for joining me. This has been John Paul from InMotion Hosting.